Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to get wrinkles out of paper quickly. This will be a full tutorial, but also an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because it really only involves two simple steps and you can repeat these steps over and over until you get the wrinkles out of the paper. But if you do them properly, you should be able to get most of the wrinkles out of the paper with just one process of both of these steps. So essentially what you want to do is get an iron and you want to plug the iron in, make sure it has a water in the reservoir and you want to turn it to a very, very low heat setting. Okay. I'm not going to go and plug this in or anything like that. I'm just telling you what to do. So you want to have it at a low heat setting and make sure there's water in the reservoir. <clears throat> the next thing that you want to do is get your wrinkled piece of paper. I just have a blank piece of paper that I literally, literally wrinkled right now for this video. Um, and you want to lay it out flat and try and flatten it out as much as you can with your hands. But I know you've probably already tried that and you see that it doesn't really work, right? But you want it to be as flat as possible on here. That won't get the wrinkles out. Doing this won't really get the wrinkles out, um, you know, for the most part, but it will flatten it down. You want to get a towel and put the towel over the paper, okay, um, just like that and know where your paper is underneath the towel. If it's a really thin towel, you can fold it over twice. Um, if it's just a regular thickness towel like this, just place it down like that. Then when your iron is nice and decently hot at a low, at pretty much the lowest heat setting that you can have it on, okay, you want to go ahead and you want to just iron on the paper. So know where your paper is under there and keep the iron moving, right? Keep the iron moving. Your paper should, well, well, you know, in a real life situation, this would be set up much better. So your paper wouldn't be moving everywhere. But if it does move, then maybe you want to, you know, maybe try and clamp it down some way. Um, but essentially you want to keep the iron moving because we want to get the paper a little bit warm, okay, but not, not too warm, okay? So keep the iron moving at the lowest heat setting. And if it has your steam uh, button, you want to push that steam button a couple times, okay? To, and you, that, what that will do is that will get a little bit of, of moisture, a little bit of steam into those fibers of the paper. It will loosen them up and make them more malleable, okay? So once you've done that for, I don't know, like 30 seconds or so, you want to remove the, the towel. And at this point, your paper shouldn't really feel wet. It should just feel steamed, if that makes sense. But it shouldn't be like wet to the point where it's affecting anything on the page. It should just feel steamed, okay? Now, some people recommend using distilled water. Um, I've used regular water and it's worked fine. But if you want to use distilled water, go for it. They say that it's less likely to stain the paper. Totally understandable, but it's, it's really up to you, okay? So, but I've used regular water and it's worked fine every time that I've used this method. So once your paper is nice and malleable, what you want to do is get something really heavy and flat, okay, that is larger than the sheet of paper. So probably like a big textbook, right? A big textbook. And you want to place it on top of the paper. And you want to put as much weight as needed onto that piece of paper. So it can be three textbooks, five textbooks. And what that's going to do is that's going to basically go like this. It's going to hold the paper down like that. You can see when I do that, the wrinkles sort of disappear between my hands, right? So check this out. The wrinkles disappear between my hands when I do that, okay? When I don't do that, the wrinkles are there. Check this out. The wrinkles flatten out. They get, they, they almost disappear. And when you've used the steam effect and when you've placed the textbook on or the textbooks on the paper overnight, leave it overnight, like 12 hours, 16 hours, even 24 hours, it, you know, the more time, the better, right? And you remove it and the paper dries off. It should be as de-wrinkled as possible. And essentially you can repeat the process again and it will de-wrinkle it a bit more. Um, there's going to be obviously a limit to, you know, when no more wrinkles can be removed. But, you know, you should be able to de-wrinkle it substantially using this method. And like I said, um, go light, light, light heat. Very, very, like, low heat with the iron. Use very little steam. You want a little bit of steam, but very little steam. And then where you want to go um, more aggressive with is the weight on it. So put it on the floor, right, on a flat tile floor, on a flat hardwood floor, and just put a lot of weight over that paper and leave it overnight, even for a full day. I mean, even if you leave it for two or three hours, you should get a good amount of the wrinkles out. But overnight is your best bet for really doing the best job possible. And that's essentially it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.